Hi Leo, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. And Leo, this is going to be for your person or on your person, about your person. This is behind the scenes on your person, okay? And please know that the whole reading could be vice versa. This could be your energies in the reading, Leo, okay? This is going to be for uh, Leo's person, right? Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising's person. <laughs> so let's see what we have, you guys. The bottom of the deck is the Four of Pentacles. Maybe somebody's holding on to somebody, Leo, right? Maybe your person's holding on to somebody. I'm going to go ahead and cut these cards because uh, I really didn't um, cut them, right? I just shuffled. Let's see. Now we have the Page of Wands. We talk about like uh, somebody could be walking a new path, right? Let's see. And maybe a new project sometimes. Right now your person is in the High Priestess energy. Crossing them is the Eight of Wands. And the Death card is in the root for them. Wow, it could be a Scorpio here. And Leo Temperance is showing up in the recent past. This could be a Sagittarian. Uh, the High Priestess could be Pisces or Scorpio. Mm-hmm, this could be a secret too. The Queen of Cups is showing up uh, for your person, Leo. And this is what's like on their mind, right? It's crowning their thoughts. And let's see what we have. Your person could be worried. I feel like they are like stepping into some worry here with the Nine of Swords in the near future. They could be worried right now, right? Or, you know, maybe going through anxiety, you know. Wow. And the High Priestess, you guys, let's see for your person, Leo, whoever they are. Right now, they could be a few different people. Yeah, the Hangman is here. This could be Pisces. Mm-hmm. Let's see. we got a lot of folks here. Scorpio. <laughs> And the Knight of Swords is showing up. So this is showing up with the King of Wands, Leo. That's you. And uh, you can be taking action, possibly, to maybe, uh, you know, feeling impatient, maybe. Or you could be rushing to a water sign or a secret, right? Let's see. Let's, because that Knight of Swords, uh, this is incomplete. Why is it King of Wands there? Yeah, it is. Let's see what we have. Two of Swords. Mm-hmm. I feel like you are uh, kind of stuck on whether or not you want to, like, take action on somebody. Maybe rush toward them. Like, kind of, you could be feeling impatient. You don't know if you want to go ahead and do that, right? Mm -hmm. Let's see. And one more card is the moon card. I feel like there's a lot of, uh, I feel like there's secrets here in this reading already. I also feel like there is, yeah, uh, I feel like there could be a water sign as well, right? So let's see. And your person... Crossing them is change, big change. Eight of Wands, it's going to be fast movement, right? Which is the same thing as change, right? Goodness gracious. Four of Swords. And the Three of Swords. See what I mean? That's what I'm saying. I feel like there's a secret here. There's a third party energy. There could be heartbreak. Mm -hmm. I feel like there is heartbreak. Your person is in this worry, this kind of panic worry over here. The Nine of Swords. Mm hmm. Not what's going. It's not about what's going on today. Keep your immune system really high. You'll be fine. Mm -hmm. you, that means you take vitamin C. You can take other things to boost your immune. Immune. You can take zinc. You can take echinacea. You can take so many, many things that will help you stay healthy. Okay, turmeric, oregano. I mean, it, vitamin A. You just eat a lot of fruits and vegetables, you guys, and you will not. And take a couple supplements. Take vitamin C. Okay, and you will not. Uh, get sick, okay, unless you are already compromised, okay, so know that, and yeah, don't run to get any uh, medicine, no, don't do that, please, because that's breaking your immune system down, okay, and get a lot of sunshine, okay, guys, so let's see here, um, now, uh, sorry about the kind of delay there, you guys, you know how I get, I get a little, uh, these, brand, these are brand new cards, and they, they, they're, they're slippery, and so they, they kind of slip side to side here on the table, which is annoying, okay? <laughs> so let's see what your person has, uh, Leo, before you get mad at me. Mm -hmm. Taking too long. Eight of Wands, Four of Swords, Three of Swords. Your person, to me, uh, is kind of, they don't know what to do about a particular situation. They could feel stuck. They could be feeling like that because there's a secret. I feel like there is. Unless you are dealing with, you could be dealing with a water sign with the moon card, right? Which is Pisces or Cancer. There could be a Scorpio here as well, right? We have all the, uh, all the water signs as a possibility. Now, in the, your, your person's influence, let's get one more card. Let's continue here. I'm going to show you guys these cards because I can always come back and put a card down. I feel like what this is, your person is reflecting about change because of a third party. That's what they are doing. And they could be reflecting like... 
Uh, they could be broken hearted at the same time. Nine of Swords down here. And the Three of Swords is next to the Death card, okay? Yeah, so we know that, you know, there's a heartbreak here, there's an ending, there's, it could be a secret. Yeah, it's, uh, okay. So, not sure who has a secret yet. No, I am not. Uh, your person could be heartbroken or they could be, you know, this third party perpetrator. <laughs> And the death card is in the it's in the root. Let's see why it's showing up there. So the death card, uh, I feel like there is great change here, but I feel like there's great change because of an ending. That's what I think. Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> it looks like there's an ending to a union and a new beginning. God, all these readings are they are like about that. I feel like what's going on right now is affecting people mm -hmm. in their love life. In the past is Temperance, the angel who is basically trying to create balance, right, with these, uh, she has fire here, and then she has water, it looks like. It's really interesting. But it, the Temperance is about creating balance and harmony, yeah. And it could be healing a situation. It can. But I feel like there's a Sagittarian here. There could be, right? That King of Wands could be Sagittarius, right? This is their reading. It doesn't have to be you. But I feel like, we'll, we'll see, all right? Why is temperance there? We're going to find out, you guys. It's like your mom used to tell you all the time when you wanted, like, too many things. We'll see <laughs> at one time. Or can I have that? It's totally unrealistic. We'll see. <laughs> right? Yeah, and after a while, you're like, yeah, I know that is no, right? <laughs> so let's see. In the past, the Ten of Swords is showing up in the past. I feel like there was an ending, a painful ending for your person. This, your person could be this temperance person, right? Your person could be Scorpio or Pisces as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because in their first card out is the High Priestess. This is in the past. There was a tower moment. Yeah. I feel like uh, a relationship or a union came to an end here, right? And I feel like it was about betrayal. When we see the Three of Swords and the Ten of Swords, right? This little girl, she's like, you know, she's trying to heal her heart. That's what she's kind of trying to do. She's only, I don't know, maybe she's 16, maybe, but the point is that she's trying to heal her heart and she's doing it with the rose, uh, so to speak, okay? Because she's in love. She's in love with somebody. Mm -hmm. Or maybe she's just showing, she's a, she, I don't think she's too young for love. I don't think so. Queen of Cups, right? When we're, when we're young, we, uh, yeah, it can be innocent love, right? It doesn't always have to be. Sexual love? No, it doesn't. But let's see what we have when they're young. The Queen of Cups, the King of Swords. So this is showing up uh, what's on their mind. I feel like what's on their mind is making a decision about love, uh, Leo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there could be, they could be a water sign making a decision. I mean, they could also be, because the Queen of Cups is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And the King of Swords is here, Leo. This could be uh, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. We already saw, I feel like the star card is here. Where is the star card? Okay, well, the star card is not here. Okay, so I thought there was an Aquarius energy here. There still could be an Aquarius, uh, Libra, or Gemini showing up, but I feel like there is a Sagittarian and a water sign, possibly. Let's see, and... Yeah. Let's see what else is on their mind. Sorry, the Page of Swords. And the Eight of Swords. Your person feels stuck. They have the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Swords and the Two of Swords. A lot of sword energy for your person. Yeah, a lot of sword energy here, I feel like, for them. Mm -hmm. Four of Swords. Yeah. Ten of Swords. Nine of Swords. Eight of Swords. Lots of swords, right? Mm -hmm. Two of Swords. Yeah, okay. So let's, let's continue with the reading, you guys. I feel like they feel really stuck. And they're trying to make a decision, but they need some more information. Yeah, they need maybe to wait or just analyze a bit more. Why do they have the Eight of Swords? The Page of Wands is showing up. So the Page of Wands is, uh, the Page of Wands is, you know, crowding their thoughts. They either think, Leo, you're going to leave, or they have to go because of some ending. Because of an ending they are, like, kind of dealing with. Yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like your person is having a hard time here. Yeah, I feel like they definitely are. Why are they on the Nine of Swords energy? This is in the near future. This could be right now. This is kind of the way it is. Judgment showing up. 
the Fool card. So they think you're giving somebody a second chance, uh, Leo. Yeah, they do. This is why they're in the Nine of Swords energy. They think you're giving somebody a second chance and that you're going to go try it out. You're going to give them a chance. You're going to take a risk on them mm -hmm. for a new start, right? Yeah, definitely. I feel like for a new beginning with the Ace of Pentacles showing up, right? This giant Ace of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Kind of looks like the thing, you know, like in the Chinese restaurant. I forgot the name of it. It's not a drum, is it? I don't think it's a drum where you go boom like that. I used to think those were cool when I was really young, right? I think that is part of uh, Chinese culture. Um, yeah, I think when they uh, would like maybe bow possibly before the Chinese emperor or the Chinese king, whoever it was, and, you know, they used to kind of hit that. It's not, it's, it's metal, right? It's not a drum. Why is the Ten of Cups showing up? And the Ten of Cups is in their fear. Right? With the Four of Cups, okay? There's a lot of cups here, too. I feel like, yeah, well, there's a lot of everything here, but there is, there are a fair amount of cups here. And I feel like this is about love and betrayal, right? This is what it gets down to. And in their fear, yeah, they're fearing, this is clear here. Yeah, your person is completely fearing an ending. Uh, and they feel unhappy, they feel disappointed, they feel rejected, they kind of feel pushed out, I feel like, because... You either out of their family, uh, family dynamic, or they feel like you have a new beginning, a happily ever after with someone else, right? So in their environment is, I'm going to do the outcome on a YouTube, yeah, but in, the, in their environment is the Four of Wands. So this is a union, it could be a marriage, but it's a union, mm -hmm. it's, it could be a home, it could just be a relationship. Five of Swords, ouch, Six of Swords, yeah. So in their environment, I feel like they're leaving here. They feel like betrayed. They feel like you sabotage their union. They could feel like that, Leo, okay, with the Five of Swords, unless they're doing it, right? Yeah, unless they're doing it, unless the whole reading is uh, flip-flop, and it can be because it's a general read, right? Nobody's ever going to say in a private reading, uh, this could be your person's energy. <laughs> it doesn't work like that, right? It'd be crazy. And, uh, or this could be, or that could be, or that could be you there, I'm not sure. Those things don't go on in a private reading. No, they do not. <laughs> and uh, let's see what we have. But I feel like the Six of Swords is showing up. This is in their environment with the Five of Swords. So this is really interesting. So, you know, they go from, they go from kind of like the Four of Wands in their environment, like, you know, a, a, a relationship to sabotage, to leaving. That's what's going on here, right? With these three cards. Mm -hmm. So, wow, it's kind of interesting. And what they want, uh, Leo, is I feel like they want you, but, you know, maybe they don't want you the way things are. <laughs> right? Okay, see the Seven of Cups? Why do they want the Seven of Cups? Four of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. So they want, what they want here, you guys, they want, you know, they want to hold on to you. I feel like they do. They could be wanting you to make a choice to hold on to them. Your person is the wounded warrior, right? So they're in the nine of wands energy. They could be paranoid about what's going to happen next. I feel like they're just really insecure about the situation, um, which is really human of them. Okay, you guys? I feel like it is, okay? <laughs> I feel like that's a, a natural uh, emotion, right? Because they are in the Nine of Swords, the Eight of Swords, all these swords energy. And I feel like, you know, your person here is kind of worried about, you know, they're just paranoid here about what's happening, I feel like, to them at this point. And they could also be, uh, you know, they could be exhausted from the whole situation, kind of like, and let me just go kind of wash my hands, kind of, and move on. Uh, I'll go heal later. Yeah, let me, let me move on with my heartbreak. I feel like that is really the case in this situation. We're going to find out over uh, over on Vimeo, right, guys? And we're going to talk about the under... We're going to do the outcome of this reading and the underlying energies, right, you guys? And how they really feel about you, Leo. What is the block or the challenge between you guys? What they're hiding, what they're fearing, and, they're, and also what they would want to say to you. Okay, I feel like that's... Uh, and we won't say any bad words, okay, you guys? So thank you so much for joining. All the extended readings are super affordable, you guys. And thank you so much, all right? Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Yeah, a lot of power and light going out to you guys.